Minister of State with Responsibility for Disaster Management, Winston Gawey, this morning toured the Simon Bolivar housing project at Lacalome. Gawey's action is in response to a leaking sewer concerns raised by residents. He told GBN that based on what he saw, there are issues that need to be addressed immediately. What we have been able to, to, to view here today is a situation that needs to be attended urgently to. And the government will do everything what is possible to make sure we correct the situation. Um, I'm not sure how long it has been that case, but it's too long. And we'll do what is needed now to address it. Galway is promising residents that he will ensure government address the problems in the soonest possible time. Our children inhaling babies, you know, and it's not a pleasant sight for anybody to, you know, inhale at this moment. And it's getting worse. Me, myself and my son, my five-year-old son, was getting shocked there. The light bill was sky high, so they had to send someone from Grand Lake to check. When they came, the people who did the wiring all through the tiles on the floor had wires exposed. The Ministry of Health came, they say we have come back with the parliamentary rep and nobody and do nothing up now. Gawe was accompanied by personnel from the National Water and Sewage Authority and the Ministry of Works. Residents say they are overburdened having to face constant daily challenges since relocating to the housing units. Going back from here, we will assemble a team, get from the contractor who would have designed the system the plan, we will look at it and then try to ascertain exactly where the problem is. We've seen excess water flowing and so forth. That shouldn't happen. As soon as we're able to, to identify the area, then we will look to solve the problem. Another major issue the residents complained of is the slow deterioration of the structure of the housing units. They say they are unable to access funds for repairs because to date they do not have their title deeds in hand. Joseph Nicky Smith for GBN News.